Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited one of the panelists of Blockchain Open Forum. Uh, he is Mr. Daniel Zhang, the CMO of Chains. Welcome. Thank you. So, can you introduce yourself and could you introduce a little bit about Chains? Okay, sure. Uh, actually, uh, I'm Daniel Zhang and I come from Hong Kong. And I actually, I just uh, uh, came into this industry uh, last year. And I used to work in Hong Kong in traditional financial institutions. And Chains uh, is a uh, world's first use focused exchange that we can support all use mainnet based airdrops. Mm -hmm. And that's our uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. the, the statement, the world's first EOS based exchanges, yeah. it catches my eye. So, what would this mean to the users? How is it different from contemporary other exchanges? Mm -hmm. First, I would say that we choose this way, I mean, the world's first use focus is because of the business concern as well. I mean, uh, use is uh, uh, very popular, no matter in mainland China, but also in Korea and also in some of the Western countries. Mm -hmm. So, and also our teams are very familiar with use, and actually we invest in use at the very beginning period. So we know more use than others, uh, I mean, Bitcoin, like uh, ETH things. That's why we choose use as our focus. And also, uh, use focus means all the use fans will find you, and they will realize, well, there is an exchange that focus on use. So they will automatically to learn more about chains. Mm -hmm. So that's why we choose this. Uh, one of the information that caught my eye was that you guys don't receive any listing fees. Yeah. So I have to ask you, are there exchanges receiving listing fees? And uh, could you give an average like amount? Amount? OK. Uh, if it's not too much trouble for you. Yeah, uh, it's OK. But I won't mention any uh, name of the exchange, mm -hmm. but I would say uh, the listing fee do exist in this uh, industry. And as far as I know, for some big exchange famous, uh, the exchange fee is uh, in US dollars about like millions, millions US dollars. Millions of US so dollars. It's really high. And uh, listing fees have many types. Mm -hmm. Some are just cash, some are some Bitcoins or ETH, some are in other ways like voting or other ways they charge this kind of fees. Mm -hmm. But for chance we don't uh, receive any of this kind of uh, leasing fees because we want to spare this money or save this money for those uh, high quality uh, teams or projects. Mm -hmm. Let them can develop their uh, projects but not give the money to us. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why. So you want, a, you want projects to invest in themselves so yeah. that they can improve it. Mm -hmm. And you guys are famous for your uh, list, uh, not listings, but uh, you got factors that you take into uh, take into consideration when it comes to listing. So, can you share some of the factors that you take into consideration when you list a token or a coin? Okay, uh, this uh, is about ranking, uh, something like ranking. Because uh, I would say uh, the ranking or to choose project is uh, mostly up to the team or up to ourselves. And also this uh, phenomenon exists in the whole industry. But our chance, we got a special module named Choice of Chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, one a normal investor, they go to some uh, big exchange, there will be uh, more than 100 different kinds of tokens. Mm -hmm. But he know nothing about this. So he don't know which one to choose and which one to buy. Our chance want to solve this kind of question. That our team, we got a special team, first help them pick some uh, projects that can have a um, more potential to business level use and also it really have value but not on the air. But the detailed process, actually our CEO do have a lot of experience in mm -hmm. auditing this kind of uh, projects. Mm -hmm. And also we, we have our own model, it's an internal model to judge the value of uh, projects. And also we will control the number of the listing projects. We won't list uh, like tens or even hundreds of uh, tokens but only, uh, I guess, two or three, one times, and maybe it's not much. When it comes to value, what could be the specific factors? Mm -hmm. You mean the maybe like team teamwork, or maybe like their background? Okay. Something else. Yeah, the team is uh, very important. I mean, uh, when you do business, the team is uh, of great importance because uh, uh, bad teams can make a good thing to bad, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, good teams even the. Business plan is not great, but they can do it well. I mean, so yeah. team is very important. Also, we need to consider the business logic. Will will they really need blockchain as the or really need the tokens as the tools to fulfill or to achieve their goals? Mm -hmm. If the tokens or blockchain is not necessary for this industry or for the special uh, projects, so we won't consider that. And also, uh, we will come out with a very detailed report to cover. 
uh, almost every aspect of the project. And also, we will cooperate, uh, cooperate with some uh, a medium or some other ranking institutions, I mean some friends, and we together from different aspects to <laughs> judge uh, uh, the apps. Yeah. So, by your definition, what would be the ideal use, blo use of blockchain? Sorry, what? What ideal would be use? the ideal use of blockchain? You know, actually, uh, I think to make predictions is a little hard, <laughs> and especially for blockchain. I know there are many uh, sad stories in history to make <laughs> such kind of uh, prediction. But I would say maybe first game. Game is a good area to use blockchain. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I would say uh, this kind of technology must really can improve the use uh, experience. Mm -hmm. but, but not only uh, use blockchain, it's not enough. Because people don't want to feel so many things, but they only want to the uh, user experience. If the experience can really be improved by te uh, technology or by blockchain technology, it will mm -hmm. be much better. And so besides of the games, and also there are some people are considered like data, data part is mm -hmm. also important. Yeah. So EOS, mm -hmm. it's a hot topic here in Korea. And the competition for the block producer slot is also very fierce. Yeah. So do you take part in that as well? And if not, uh, what are there any uh, potential block producers that you are looking into? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, actually the BP uh, things are very hot nowadays and mm -hmm. uh, very popular. And we would say Chance won't eager to be a BP and mm -hmm. we don't want to do so because we are actually a new company, a new exchange. We have a limited uh, t attention and resources. Mm -hmm. So we want to put all of this onto our exchange, the centralized mm -hmm. exchange. So we won't care about BP. But on the other side, we keep a good relationship with uh, many BPs in mainland China, in Korea, and even in, with some uh, Korea, uh, Western countries. I mean, we all belong to the use ecology and as a world's first uh, use focused exchange. Mm -hmm. So we need to make friends, at least introduce ourselves mm -hmm. to all these partners, our friends, our DFs, projects, all these people. So actually, this time we come to Korea and we have already visited the top three or top four uh, mm -hmm. Korea BPs. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not have some uh, special intention. We just, just as I said, I want to introduce Chance to you and mm -hmm. we all belong to use ecology. Maybe in the future, we can help together to mm -hmm. uh, bring more benefits to our users, to the whole use ecology. Like you said, Chains is relatively new in the exchange market. Mm -hmm. uh, as the rising star in the exchange economy, what are the future plans for Chains? I mean, what are the future plans for you and Chains mm -hmm. uh, on the perspective of increasing traffic? Okay, uh, increasing traffic. We believe that traffic it should be the result, not the goal at first, because we want to really do our things, do it well. I mean, like choice of chance, this model, we really need to be very careful with that. And mm -hmm. the listing projects, we really need to use the choice of chance requirement to mm -hmm. pick this kind of good, high quality projects. Mm -hmm. And after that, the traffic will come for sure. So mm -hmm. we don't chase the traffic, but traffic better chase <laughs> You're us. not pressured by the traffic. Yeah, yeah. And also, you just mentioned, uh, well, chance is a new exchange, but I would say, uh, our team and our CEO and CTOs, they have a rich experience, experience mm -hmm. in the uh, exchange industry. And also, our CTO used to be the Yunbi uh, CTO, and mm -hmm. it's a very famous exchange as well. Yeah. I think that could be the most ideal approach an exchange can take, that mm -hmm. you guys don't follow traffic, because, you know, following traffic, following the publicity, yeah. it can lead to problems, I'm pretty sure. You're, I mean, we're aware of that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, is this your first time in Korea? Yeah, it's my first time in Korea. I, actually, I come to America. Well, I need to stop at uh, Korea, but I never, I mean, go out of the airport. So <laughs> How are you liking it so far? Uh, yes, everything is great, and I love the beef of Korea. And uh, <laughs> friends are so nice. I mean, it's great to be here. About the crypto economy, mm -hmm. what do you think? What's your take on the crypto economy of Korea? Because it's a big like phenomenon here. Mm, I want to share one thing with you that is, uh, you know, at first our chance are not uh, let Korea as our uh, first concern, but it turned out to be the Korean IPs, I mean the visitors to our website, uh, almost one third of the total. So we found, oh, uh, you really attract Korea friends' eyes and their attention. Mm -hmm. So we want to uh, improve our 
uh, influence in Korea. That's mm -hmm. why we have some uh, Korean friends help us do the community, mm -hmm. to introduce chains to more Korean friends. And also, yeah, uh, youth have a very high uh, people concern about youth in Korea. Mm -hmm. So that's very neat with us. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I hope to see chains expand in the Korean crypto market as well. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Zhang. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Daniel Zhang, the CMO of Chains. Thank you.